organisms do not live in isolation from each other. We're always interacting. So whether it's human and plant or human and animal, animal and animal, plant and plant, there's always interactions. And sometimes those interactions actually play a role in the lives of the organisms. Sometimes the interactions are positive for both species, sometimes they're negative for both species, and sometimes one gets something out of the uh, relationship and one doesn't. So the first one we're going to talk about is mutualism. In mutualism, both species benefit from a relationship. So in the case of pollinators and flowers, the pollinators get nectar out of the deal and the uh, flowers get pollinated. After flowers get pollinated, they, they get fertilized and so then the seeds can develop and reproduce, allow the flower to reproduce with seeds. So that's one example of mutualism. Another example of mutualism is plants that actually depend on each other to survive. In this case, it's actually obligatory mutualism because these are lichens. They're composed of a fungus and an algae, and they cannot live apart. When they are in a lichen situation, they are actually depending on each other to survive. So there's different kinds of lichens, as you can see. There's orange ones, and there's crusty ones, and gray ones, and all kinds of colors. You'll see these on headstones. You'll see these on fence posts. You'll see these on living trees. And what they're doing is, the lichen and the, the fungus and the um, algae are helping each other to survive. So fungus cannot photosynthesize, so they can't make their own food. They have to digest things outside their body and then absorb the nutrients. But algae can make its own food because it photosynthesizes. But algae needs a wetter place to live. And so the fungus can absorb water and they can absorb nutrients and then they can give that to the, to the algae and the algae photosynthesizes and gives its sugars to the fungus. So they work together to have a little place to live. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.